Where do you see, you've been arguing, Karen, that we need to see the recession. We're better off getting it done and getting it done quickly. Yes, and I, I think they were hawkish. I think that they're nowhere near done. I, I believe that inflation has peaked. However, inflation needs to come down so dramatically that I think the Fed has no choice, absolutely no choice, given that they've said inflation is their main priority. So I, I think they're nowhere near pivoting, and so I expect to see them hike. I guess, I mean, with the reaction to the last hike, I don't know, one could guess that every hike is a good thing. But we, I think, though, that the byproduct of that, talk about this a lot, is we've seen housing cool. I think we're going to see another uh, several areas of the economy cool as well. So I'm not really buying this rally. I feel like, you know, there's more pain to come. And we haven't even really seen QT yet. So I think there's more pain to come. I'm not really buying stuff up here. It's been a really, really sharp rally. And I think just a, a whiff of that this pivot isn't what they're saying will really be problematic for the market. So yeah. I, I, one other thing, though, I do think for some of the stocks, the bottom might be in. For the market overall, I don't think it is. Yeah, and that's an important differentiation to say the markets versus certain sectors, Guy. There are certain sectors that have really taken a beating. There are certain stocks and certain sectors that have rebounded, you know, so almost fully from their lows. It's an amazing round trip. It's remarkable. And, you know, just to stay with the blades of glory, the Fed's trying to pull an iron lotus here. And I got to tell you something, the first time that was attempted, <laughs> it did not work out all that well. So... I'm, I'm with Karen on this one. You know, we've talked about the, re, the market rallying to 4,100 since the middle of June. Now, here we are on August 1st, and here it is at 4,100. And it's logical that the market uh, takes a pause here and sells off. So Steve Leisman said it on Fed Day. He said he listened to this Fed chair, and he came away with hawkish tones. And Karen did as well, as did I. I don't see any Fed pivot in the foreseeable future. And although 9.1% on that CPI might in fact be the high we see for a very long time. Let's hope that's the case. Even if this were to come in with a six, high six, low seven handle, you're still talking about a CPI that's probably three standard deviations away from the Fed where it wants it to be and needs it to be. So I think there's a lot of wood to chop here. I don't see any pivot. I think the market goes lower. 